All right, so what is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Jay three times and we're back at it with another video. Today guys, we're gonna talk about appropriate, proper civilian attire in the Marine Corps. Okay, now this um, order is straight off of Marine Corps Order 120.34 Hotel. I think this was dated back to May 1st of 2018. So yeah, that's like literally a month before I went to the Marine Corps that this order was um, in, put in place or well, updated or whatever. But yeah, let's get straight into this. Um, so the first section here, a civilian attire, the CMC, in other words, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, extended the privilege of wearing civilian attire to officers and enlisted Marines within the limitations of these regulations. So that's crazy. Wearing civilian attire as a Marine is technically, technically a privilege. Yes, a privilege, not a right, a privilege. Let's continue. The possession and wearing of civilian attire by Marines may be prescribed by commanders for military reasons. Now, I don't think I'm gonna read each and every single sentence. I might get to the biggest points of the section that I'm talking about, and you can possibly read the rest for yourself. But anyways, y'all, let's continue. Yada, yada, yada. You got all this paragraphed information here. And this is within the U.S. The subheading being Marines are associated and identified with the Marine Corps in and out of uniform and when or off duty. Therefore, when civilian clothing is worn, Marines will ensure that their dress and personal appearance are conservative within the high center traditionally associated with the Marine Corps. Revealing clothing, or other words, clothing that exposes midriff, the buttocks, extensive amounts of chest and cleavage, or items designed to be worn as undergarments or worn exposed are not authorized for civilian attire while on or off duty. When wearing trousers with civilian attire, a belt must be worn unless there is, a, unless there is no belt loops. Trousers may be worn at the waist. Actually, trousers will be worn at the waist. So not anything sagging down to your buttocks. You can't be sagging your pants, thinking like, hey, yo, what's up, dog? Where your trousers gotta be worn at the waist and they have to have a belt if there's belt loops. And of course, undergarments, you can't just wear a plain white t-shirt. That's considered an undergarment. You cannot wear tank tops just out and about. Now, of course, you can wear it as an undergarment. You can wear it as, as it's supposed to be worn, but just having it on like that, white shirt or just a tank top or just a bra on a sports bra, just walk, walking around, unauthorized. But yeah, of course, where, where do you leave off at? Well, this, this this right here is the main section that I want to get into, y'all. But anyways, y'all, um, I'm trying to figure out where I left off at. Yeah, okay. Other garments when worn will not be visible except as the undershirt is exposed in a manner similar to a service Charlie uniform. So yes, when you wear your white t-shirt, it can be worn in the same manner as your service Charlie's. If you don't know what it is, I'll pull up a picture so you can see it, yeah. Um, Civilian attire, including undershirts, will be worn as appropriate to the occasion. So, for example, if you're wearing a bathing suit, you can, of course, wear it to the beach. Let's say you're going to the gym. Of course, you can wear Of course, that's where you can wear your undershirt. You wear your, you know, like your, your workout clothes appropriate to the gym, right? Your workout shirt, workout pants. Do your thing, man. You feel me? Okay. Now, like like I said, but you can wear that to that kind of stuff. You cannot wear that kind of stuff, you know, to the store. You feel me? If that's not appropriate, right? Yeah, anyways, continuing. Um, I'm going to skip the rest of that, yada, yada. Um, when you are on a military installation, civilian so headgear will be removed. Um, you can probably read the gist of that. Uh, I don't think we need to get to the rest of that right there. Uh, going down to the next page. Uh, the wearing of clothing articles not specified designed to be worn as normal headgear 
In other words, bandanas, do-rags, is prohibited. So, like, that type of stuff, you can't just worry with your civilian attire. Like, do-rags, or freaking, what you call it, um, your dang on bandanas. You can't just walk around on public civilian attire wearing that type of stuff. I don't know if you consider an undergarment, but it's not appropriate, so it's not authorized. So, yeah. Um, moving down, though, moving down. Um, there are certain things that you can wear with the um, civilian attire. That kind of is included also in your military uniform, if you know what I mean. So, for example, things that you can wear with your civilian attire that is supposed to be part of your uniform is things like gold cufflinks, studs, necktie clasps, um, footwear, socks, gloves, undergarments. That stuff can be worn with your civilian attire. And the green undershirt, though, that can be only worn for PT. Uh, other things like uh, the, wool, the green wool scarf, the black bow tie, the general purpose trouser, general purpose trunks, the crew neck service sweater, the all weather coat, the tanker jacket, the dress blue sweater, and um, on and on and so forth. That can be worn with your civilian attire. Um, then we get into the next thing. I'm trying to think, 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 C, C, C. Uh, and that the next one's for women, obviously. You can read about that if you want to. Um, going down, going down. Outside the U.S., I don't think I'm really going to read much of that because, I mean, most people are not going to be, most Marines are probably not going to be outside the U.S. Not to say there's, you know, there's not a lot of Marines outside the U.S., but we're going to talk about in the U.S. right now. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, of course, stuff about the ships. You want to read about that. And uh, we get down here. And we get to the, I think, yeah, we get to the last things that I really want to talk about in this video. And um, right here, this is kind of part of the last thing. Civilian attire will reflect in the style and the quality of the service trial uniform. That is what your civilian attire should represent technically at all times. Your service trolley uniform. So... Um, it says right here, not exclusive examples of appropriate civilian attire, a shirt or blouse with a collar, trousers or slacks with a belt if applicable, and socks and shoes. Examples of inappropriate civilian attire is beach or swimwear, gym or sweat gear. That's crazy, sweat gear. I be wearing sweats all the time. Tank tops, <laughs> shorts, and short shorts. Ripped and torn clothing, so that them ripped jeans technically is considered inappropriate. Civilian attire, garments designed as underwear, clothing with designs of obscene or suggestive nature or offensive logos in your civilian attire, and shower shoes except when showering. Now we get down to special assignments, yeah, 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 and we're going to get down to the White House section. Civilian attire may not be worn to the White House except as follows when attending or participating in conferences, working or well, working group sessions at the White, at the Executive Office building when the President or his advisors will not be present. And uh, when explicitly called for, called in for invitation, when it is signed, billet requires civilian attire to be worn. And while visiting the White House as a tourist. That is really it for this video about proper civilian attire in the Marine Corps. This is straight off the official source, straight off the Marine Corps order, Marine Corps order 1020.34 hotel. That is it for this video. Hope y'all appreciate that. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay humble, stay motivated, stay positive, stay inspired, stay healthy. It is your boy Jay three times, and I'm checking out. Peace.